My name's Abiola and I live in Hackney. As I've grown up and grown from a small child into a, into a young adult, a thread that's always been quite common and it's always interlinked to everything I've done is my, you know, my care and my involvement for performing arts and for writing, which follows behind that. So I say for me, the arts means a great deal to me because it means ways that I can express myself no matter where I am in life or no matter what I'm doing and to appreciate others doing the same and absorbing their art as well. So I'd say for me, it kind of just means expression and that means everything because I think that's vital, you know? Life without the arts, I'm not really sure if I want to imagine that. The arts has given so many people different ways of telling their story or bringing a story or bringing an issue to light and to audiences. And for that to be taken away, that would be damaging and that would be sad. What would I like the government to do? Look at what, look at what the arts are. Look at all the resources that you have already supporting it and look at ways that the arts can be supported, can can have continued support in a sustainable manner. You know, we know everyone's aware of the cuts that have happened over the last decade. Everyone's aware of, you know, what's going on with the virus and how that's had a really major and in many ways uh, unforeseen impact on the arts because the arts, it, it requires close contact. It requires people to be working with each other, to be moving with each other, to be rehearsing with each other, to be engaging with each other in a way that for safety reasons we can't. And all of that has affected the arts, I can imagine, has affected, you know, theatres aren't open at the moment. If the government's going to do something, look at how they can help, what they're doing already and what can be adapted and looking at the most vulnerable organisations as well as the less vulnerable.